What's up, everybody? All right. Uh, guys, uh, I'm getting married this year. I'm doing it. Yeah. I actually proposed to my fiance in Italy. I went to Italy. I did it over there. Um, and before I went there, I wanted to learn some Italian, so I took Duolingo. Uh, has anybody taken this scam? Uh, <laughs> It sucks, right? Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't like Duolingo because I feel it teaches you phrases that you're never gonna use in real life. Like the only thing that I learned to say in Italian is that lui beve il zucchero, which means he drinks the sugar. <laughs> when the fuck am I gonna use that, right? <laughs> Talking like I'm Tarzan, he drinks the sugar, me water. <laughs> like the whole time I was in Italy, I was hoping I'd run into a thirsty diabetic guy. <laughs> Or like, I love even so good, I know, okay. <laughs> and if you miss a couple of lessons, Duolingo starts threatening you, right? And it becomes narcos all of a sudden. <laughs> Sends you a message at three in the morning, right? It's like, hey, Francisco, I haven't seen you for a couple of days. I guess you don't care about your family. We're gonna make them drink the sugar. <laughs> Also, if you, I realize if you do know the language when you go to a foreign country, speak it. But if you don't, don't worry. Everybody knows English. Because I made the mistake that I thought a little bit of Italian. So when I was over there, I'd be trying to speak to the waiters. I'd be like, eh, como se dice? <laughs> eh, como se dice? And the waiter's like, what do you want? <laughs> I was like, eh, lasagna. Because <laughs> people do the same thing to me because I speak Spanish. And one thing that I notice that people do with me is that they love to overpronounce words in Spanish when they're with me. Like they want to connect with me. <laughs> like they're always having lunch with a friend. He's like, hey, Francisco, so you want to get some tortillas? <laughs> Like, take it easy, Paul. <laughs> Nobody talks like that, like a vampire. <laughs> Let's get some tortillas, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> That's like if I was having lunch with Paul, I'd be like, hey, Paul, so you wanna get a hot dog? <laughs> That's my American accent. <laughs> hot dog. I, um, so me and my fiance, we're, uh, we're planning the wedding together, which is pretty cool, I like it. But yeah, but, but now she's asking me questions about the wedding, about stuff that I really don't care about. <laughs> like she's asking me like what kind of flowers we should have for the wedding. Uh, and I'm like, well, I'm like, well, we're doing the wedding outside, we got free flowers, like what do we need more? <laughs> Let's recycle, right? <laughs> but also to me, I just wanna have a good party, right? And a good party to me is good food, good music, good drinks, right? Right? Because I've never been to a party where the flowers are the shit. <laughs> right? You get there, you're like, fuck! <laughs> Did you see the lilacs? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fresh! Roses are blooming, fuck! And you can do cocaine of the eucalyptus? What the fuck? <laughs> this is the best party flower ever! <laughs> um, so about myself, I'm, uh, I was born in Venezuela, guys. I was born there. and. Um, I moved to the US when I was 12, uh, so I've been living here most of my life. However, I still feel like I have like this third world country DNA in me, which I love. And that means when you come from a third world country, you're resourceful, like you solve problems quick, right? Because shit doesn't work in a third world country as they should. So you gotta find solutions in life. You just don't give up, right? Like for example, like if there's no hot water, heat it up. <laughs> there's no manager, okay? <laughs> you're the manager. <laughs> And you're always gonna find somebody who's gonna help you in a third world country, and they're always gonna say something like, let's see what I can do. <laughs> like, that's the phrase. And that's everywhere, because there I was at this bar, and the bartender was Cuban, and my girlfriend wanted a Diet Coke. So I go and talk to the bartender in Spanish, I was like, hey bro, can I get a Diet Coke? And the bartender realized that I was from Venezuela, so he's like, hey bro, uh, so we don't have Diet Coke. <laughs> but uh, what I can do <laughs> is that I can give you some regular Coke and put some water on it. And I was like, <laughs> He said that, because that's the mindset, you see? Like, because he, he didn't go like, we don't have it. He's like, no, we're gonna come up with a solution here. <laughs> we're gonna solve this problem, okay? 
Which, by the way, I would love to see this guy as a doctor just doing the same thing, right? <laughs> uh, so welcome. Uh, so you need a blood transfusion. <laughs> so uh, your blood type is uh, A positive. Uh, we don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> but what I can do <laughs> is that I can give you some A negative and then add some B negative because two negatives make a positive, puppy. <laughs> Thank you for the one applause. Uh, <laughs> funny, I like comparing doctors. There, I like going doctors. The other day I went to a chiropractor. Uh, I didn't like it. I feel chiropractors, they enjoy their job a little too much, <laughs> right? Like they like to comment every time they crack your back, which I didn't know, right? It's so weird, like there, I was there, the guy's like, all right, I'm gonna get behind you and close. I was like, okay, cool. He's like, all right, one, two, three. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, you're tight. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, I feel your penis right now, man. <laughs> Who's cracking who? <laughs> that's so weird, right? Oh, man. I, uh, are you guys going out, right? Or married? What? Going out? How long have you guys been going out? Three years. Three years? Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Is that correct? <laughs> sure. <laughs> right? That was very well, I'm going to give you an advice before I get out of here. I'm going to give you one advice. I don't know if you know this. Everything that we men do wrong in a relationship, ladies, they notice, but they never tell us we're doing it wrong. Because every woman has a vault. <laughs> you see? <laughs> and every time we fucked up, hey guys, in that vault. And the only way to know that it's going in the vault is when a girl goes like this. Hmm, that's it. <laughs> that means you fucked up, but we have no idea because we're done. We're going, I'm the best boyfriend ever. <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> you know when I realized that? Because I had an ex-girlfriend and she broke up with me and she wrote me a five-page letter. <laughs> Front and back. <laughs> of all the stuff I did wrong that she never told me. Like, like one of the things where like, remember watching The Princess Diaries <laughs> and you fell asleep? <laughs> That's when I realized you were ready to be a father. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then she signed it with like, you should have known. <laughs> Ladies, we don't know. <laughs> you have to tell us every time we mess up, right? Right? Yes. You have to, you know. okay. You're... It's getting personal to you. <laughs> yes, yes, nobody? <laughs> But yeah, you have to tell us every time we mess up. You have to treat us like we're a puppy. You know how you train a puppy? Like, don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best relationship right there. <laughs> but don't wait till the end after you break up with us and then tell us everything we did wrong. That's fucked up. <laughs> right? That's like if I was going to my doctor that I've been seeing for like three years. And I come in and my doctor's like, Francisco, thanks for coming. Uh, so for the past three years, your health has been on a decline. <laughs> and you have three months to live. Uh, and I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Why didn't you say anything before? <laughs> oh, you should have known. Hmm. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, my name is Francisco Ramos. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>